We're learning more tonight about the violence inside former NFL player Terrell Pryor's apartment. Police say he was stabbed Saturday while physically fighting with his girlfriend. And Channel 11's Joe Arena live now with the ongoing concerns about domestic violence in the NFL. Joe? Yeah, good evening, David. Some fans we spoke with today after hearing the news about what happened here at the Heinz Loft say they weren't surprised about what happened. And one man told me he doesn't expect the NFL to take notice. The violent details of the stabbing and arrest of Terrell Pryor and his girlfriend Shalea Briston has Pittsburghers talking today. The two got into a fight early Saturday morning at Pryor's apartment here at the Heinz Lofts. The criminal complaint paints a violent picture of what happened and what led to Pryor's stabbing. And witnesses describe a history of problems between Briston and Pryor. One witness to the fight told the police the relationship between Miss Briston and Pryor has been volatile at times and that Pryor is always putting his hands on Miss Briston. And while at the hospital, according to police, one officer reported he overheard one of the witnesses talking into their smartwatch, telling someone, the only reason I'm here was to make sure that he didn't die. We should have just let him die. Egos kick in, you know what I mean? You think you get to think of your own people. Football fan Garland Pritchard says he's a big supporter of the NFL, but the league is only good at damage control when domestic situations make the news. Garland says the NFL should step up and get more involved. It'd be good to give them classes on stuff like that and things like that, but you know what? I think the NFL is just more focused on the money about it. Like that, We'll deal with those roads when we get to them. And back out live now in front of the Heinz Lofts. We did learn a short time ago, in fact, that Terrell Pryor has retained an attorney who he has already met, and that attorney says they will be making a statement soon. Live tonight on the North Side, Joe Arena, Channel 11 News.